Shazam! Fury of the Gods will make history in a very unique way as James Gunn looks to overall the DC Cinematic Universe. Now while we are seeing the Marvel Cinematic Universe in decline, at least up to a certain point, the DC Cinematic Universe has been on the rise. Only 5 years ago all people could talk about was Marvel, they completely dominated the box office, were pushing out one blockbuster hit after the other, and while Warner bros did try and hang in there, it was just never really close. It kind of feels like this whole DC versus Marvel rivalry is kind of like a yo-yo. You go through these phases of dominance from each. Superman was big in the 70s and 80s, but the big turning point for DC was Batman in the 90s. Now by 2008 though, all they had was Batman, at least when it came to massive box office success. Successes. Now competition is always good and maybe Marvel was tired of just sitting on the sideline and thus the cinematic universe was born. What they were able to do over 10 years was really amazing. They had one vision, one story and every movie just flowed together like a Harry Potter book. You just felt like you had to go and see every movie that they pushed out because if you did not you might miss out on something because because all of the stories were completely overlapping. Now out of all of this, one good thing did come. Competition. Competition is always good and it's very clear that DC drew inspiration from what Marvel was doing. Even though they followed their own path, you could see that they were more motivated than ever before to push out as many movies as they could. They moved away from just Superman and Batman and just started to build up the other characters as well. They started paying more attention to Aquaman, Flash, Wonder Woman, Shazam and a bunch of others that were spread across the board. The good thing though is that DC is only beginning. Them now establishing an actual studio responsible for pushing out all of the content under one vision is hopefully going to lead to nothing but only good things. Now although DC is looking for one vision, not everything is going to be done by the books. One of the most anticipated movies that is on the way next year is going to be Shazam! Fury of the Gods and with it, Warner Bros is looking to make history in a very unique way. Shazam! Fury of the Gods will be the first superhero movie for DC that will feature completely newly written villains that is not part of the existing lore. I'm sure that most people are aware of this by this point, but superhero movies are inspired by comics and most of the characters that we are seeing right now on the big screen has been written many years ago. They have their own set backstories, superpowers, love interests and also villains. The job of DC and Marvel is just to take that lore and canon, add their own twist to it and then bring it to the big screen. It is a model that has been followed for decades now and that is set to change with Shazam. They say yes, yeah, Shazam Fury of the Gods director David F. Sandberg revealed in the latest issue of Empire that the villains of the sequel are completely original and not based on any comic book characters, marking it the first time that the DCU project has touted main villains who haven't originated from the comics. Sandberg explained that that was due to the fact that Shazam powers came from the Greek gods. We have landed here because Shazam powers come from the Greek gods, so what if his powers were stolen? stolen from the gods and now they want revenge. The villains in question here are the three daughters of Atlas, namely Hespera, Calypso and Anthea. Veteran actors Helen Mirren will portray Hespera, Lucy Liu will play Calypso and Rachel Ziegler will star as Anthea. The Shazam 2 director also revealed that Mirren is at the top of his wish list when it comes to playing Hespera, with him even noting that she wanted to do 
all of her own stunts while filming. She wanted to do all of her own stunts and sometimes we had to tell her we need an actual stunt person to do that. Moreover, the DCU director also opened up about filming the sequel action sequences, saying that it was fun destroying things. It was fun destroying things, we wrecked so many cars, dropped them from the sky. There is one scene where we had flying cars up in the air and smashing it into each other. We didn't put that in the movie because it was a lot of cars. Sandberg also continued by revealing that creating the monsters of the sequel God Realm trickled the horror lover inside of him during the production. We have this dragon that is sort of made of of wood and that emanates that fear effect. Sandberg continues here by saying that it was really cool diving into mythology rather than just looking at the comic books. Now there is a couple of reasons why they decided to move away from the comic books and it is going to be interesting to see what type of effect this is going to have on the rest of the DC Cinematic Universe. First of all, moving away from the comic books does mean that you will not have all of that pressure to bring pre-existing characters to life that the fans might already love and because of that it is also easy to mess these characters up and if you do that fans are very easily going to get upset with you. They have their own vision of what they want a character to be and how they want that character to be portrayed so it is very easy to screw things up if you are focusing on pre-existing lore. Now with that said though it can also be quite dangerous to move away from existing lore and tell your own story. As upset as fans will get when you try to portray a character that they love incorrectly, they get even more upset when you decide to deviate from the law and try to reimagine an existing story. Now luckily there is a very easy way around this and that is just to write a very good story. No one is going to get upset if the story is good. If you decide to ignore what the original script is and write something worse then yes, people are going to get upset and it is easy to understand why but as long as you make sure that the story is good you are probably going to be okay. I always use The Witcher as a good example of this. Witcher has a pre-existing story but when CD Projekt Red decided to make the games they moved away from the law somewhat. Now no one really cared because the retelling was good. Now I know that that is a video game and it can be different but the logic still stands. Now another thing that is going to be interesting interesting though is how these new villains might overlap with the bigger DCU story. We know that DC is looking to build one story spread across the whole universe in multiple movies so it is going to be interesting to see if these new characters will have any part of the bigger story. Shazam and Black Adam already is tied together, their movies might overlap and now Superman is also tied in with Black Adam so all three three of these movies might overlap and that could have a bigger effect when it comes to the overall DCU picture. It is going to be very interesting to see how all of this plays out in the future.